Hey what's up my dokus, Jason here welcome you back to more Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Last time, we helped Florin save, save a tree and get revenge on those who sought to destroy them. This time, we are here to take care of the second to last quest in Uriah. Because the other quest is a part of the Praxis and Theory chain as I've mentioned before and because Theory is not awakened yet, we can't do anything with it. But the quest trigger is right up here. So Rex, will, you, will going to Elysium really bring people happiness? I can't say anything for sure yet, but that's what I choose to believe. Can't say for sure, eh? You know Rex, I've seen a lot of different people during the missions I've completed. This world is full of people suffering for all kinds of reasons. People who are tricked by others and losing their homes, People who resort to killing in order to survive. Some even betray their own families for the sake of money. When I see all that, I... I just... I want to smack some sense into the lot of them. I want to give them a taste of my burning passion and set their hearts back on the right path. Godfrey. Protecting the weak and passing judgment on the strong. That's what I believe my power is for. But if I'm going to set the fire of justice burning in this world, I'm going to need your help. That's all I wanted to say. F the Flames of Justice. Whoa. Surprise attack? Sneaky! If it's a fight you want, why don't you face me fair and square? What's wrong? Cat got your tongue? In that case, let's let our fists do the talking. Alrighty then. Looks like we have a mysterious driver. Let's just go ahead and take him out. You must be Godfrey, right? You're every bit as overbearing as I'd heard. So what if I am? You're the ones with some explaining to do. Why did you attack us? Well, when we heard about you, it got us a little bit curious. Heard about me? Yeah, about how you're a righteous blade. You really think you can save people with that childish sense of justice? You ask the dumbest questions. Of course I can save people. But is that true? Or is it just wishful thinking? What are you saying to me, scumbag? Justice doesn't help anyone in the real world. It just gets in their way. I thought I might teach you that lesson myself. You? Want to teach me? You don't know crap. I will use this power of justice, and I will save people. Lots of them. Ugh. Could you turn down the heat? It's pretty difficult to bear. If your flame of justice burns any hotter, we'll have a heat wave on our hands. Listen to me, Godfrey. If you want to stick with this whole justice thing, you should look into a girl called Hargal in Argentum. A girl? What about her? She was a dancing girl in Banna's little sideshow. Do some digging and you'll understand. Then we'll all see how much your justice is really worth.
Well, looks like we're off to Argentum. Let's head off. Hey, could I ask you about something? Friends looking for Harga Hargel? Me not seen her since Banna go away. If you want to know more about Hargel, me see just ask girl card Kruja. She work in Rumble Tum Canteen. Kruja was good friend of Hargel. Doing same job. She probably know m more about where Hargel went or go. Alright, I guess we're going up to the canteen. How can I help you? You're Kruja, right? Yes, that's my name. Tell us everything you know about Harghal. Harghal? Sorry, but I can't help you there. You, We heard the two of you were the best of friends, though. I don't know who told you that nonsense, but believe me, I'm not friends with that woman. Now, if you're not customers, could you get going? You're getting in the way of my work. Are you af or Why are you so afraid to talk? I'm not afraid, I just don't want to think about that traitor. She was an incredible dancer, everyone's darling, Banna's favorite. And then she betrayed me and just left. Is that something a friend would do? This doesn't seem like it's going to, to be straightforward. What should we do? Leave it to me, I'll talk some sense into her. Be still, my burning heart. All this griping isn't going to solve anything. Tell us what happened. That look in your eyes. There's a fierce passion behind it. Reminds me of Hargal. Hargal, actually. I loved dancing since I was a little girl. That's why I came to Argentum to make my fortune a as a dancer. I hit it off with Hargal right away. Because we both had the same dream. So you really were best friends. So we, sure we were. We were practically inseparable. I told her everything. But her talent was the real deal, and I just couldn't compare. While she was shining like a star on the stage, I was just lurking in her shadow. She got all the attention from Banna, while I was just a tag-along. Naturally, when Banna took a liking to you, it meant you got a better pay. She got the best of everything, and wasn't too hard off either. But then she was, there was that huge scandal and Banna was ruined. After that I couldn't support myself with dancing alone, so I had to take up jobs at canteens and bars on the side. And even so, I was satisfied because I was still dancing, still living the life I dreamed of. It wasn't a glamorous or an easy life, but as long as I had my dancing and a friend like Harkhal, I was still happy. But as it turned out, Harkhal didn't feel the same way. It wasn't long before she got sick of our new situation. She said she had enough of dancing and left Argentum. What was Harghal so dissatisfied by? No point asking me. I gave up, th gave up thinking about her a long time ago. Then do you at least have some idea where she might have gone? We need to find her. She said she was going back to live with her family in Alba Cavanch. And more, Dane. I guess we'll have to ask around there next. Tell me one thing, Kruja. Have you given up dance? You haven't given up dancing, have you? Not just yet. I believe your passion for dancing and the friendship you shared are both strong and enduring. But if Hargul comes back someday, could you find it in your heart to welcome her? You know, talking to you has given me a bit of perspective on things. I get part of me still wishes I could go back to dancing with her. So alright, I'll give her one more chance. Now that's the kind of friendship I like to see. <laughs> Good luck convincing her. If she still cares about dancing and all, you bring her back here. Alright, off to more ordain with us. Are you Hargal's mo mother? 
What's this all of a sudden? Who are you anyway? Don't worry, madam. We're just looking to ask a few questions. Hmm, Stella sounds pretty sus or plenty suspicious to me. If you're debt collectors, you're barking up the wrong tree. We don't have any money to pay. Unless you want to kill me and take my whole damn house. That's not why we're here. For what we're here for. We just wanted you to tell us a little about Harkal. Huh, why should I care about that hussy of a daughter? She just ups and does whatever she pleases. Never a thought about her old mother's worries. Isn't it your daughter you're really worried about? Oh, shut up. What about what does a stranger like you know about our troubles? I can't just stand by and watch. For some reason, when I see that passionate look in your eyes, it reminds me of my husband. Where's your husband now? Oh, he went out to war a long while back, got himself killed. All he left behind for me and Harkal was a pile of debt, and I've always been sickingly so I can't do much in the way of work. So naturally we struggled to get by, and the debts just kept piling up. It can't be easy raising a kid on your own, with a, even without all that debt. Then to make things worse, Harkal started saying she wanted to be a dancer instead of finding a proper job. We wound up squarreling pretty much every day over that. In the end, she got so sick of our life of poverty, she gave up on me and just left home entirely. And that's how she became one of Vanna's dancing girls? In the end, apparently she did pretty well for herself. She even sent money home every month for my medical bills. Not that I did anything to deserve it. I ne was never a good mother to her. I couldn't even support her when she tried to follow her dream. I was so ashamed of myself for falling to make my d failing to make my daughter happy. I could hardly bear it. Deep down, I all I ever wanted was to for her to be happy. I wanted her to be able to dance to her heart's content. But I was never anything but a hindrance to her. With me around, happiness was always out of her reach. Sometimes I wonder if she'd be better off if I weren't around anymore. You idiot. You think you really think your daughter would be happy if you threw your life away? You're her mother for crying out loud. The only family she has. You're the only person in this world who can look after her. If you really care to care about your daughter, isn't it your job to watch over her and make a life together with her as best as you can? Yes, you're right, of course. I'm just setting a bad example for her being so weak. Really, I should be the one standing by her side no matter what. If she ever comes home, I want to give her a proper apology. And I'll ask her if she'd like to stay here and live together again. That's more like it. Oh yes, that reminds me, I haven't seen Harkal in a long time, but she did send her a letter recently. A letter? I had a big deal going down in the old city of T Tendim. Soon I'll have a large sum of money. Once I have the cash, I'll come home. That's what it said. But I haven't heard anything since, so I don't know what happened. That's a bit worrying. Listen, I know it's not my place to ask this, but if my daughter's doing anything dodgy, could you set her straight for me? Of course, I'll do whatever I can. If my burning heart of justice can't set your daughter on the straight and narrow, nothing can. Right, let's get let's head to the old city of Tentem and find this Harkal girl. Don't be too harsh to her, all right? Alright, looks like we're going to... Oops. The old city of Tandem. Looks like she's up, probably up near the top. Or down here. Oh. Somebody, anybody, please help Jeruro. Do I hear a voice crying out for help? Over here, please save Jeruro. Hang on, I'll be over. I'll be there in a jiffy. All 
Alright, time to defeat some monsters. Thanks, friends, for saving. Jeruru, very grateful. Think nothing of it. I just did what any hero would do. What were you doing in a dangerous place like this anyway? Oh, oh, just merchant business. Oh, you're a traveling merchant? What kind of goods do you sell? Go on, let's have a look. We might be able to give you some custom. Er, j j juru not have any wares right now. What? You're a traveling merchant with nothing to sell? Man, 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 nasty monsters stole all, all of wares. They did what? Well, that's not good at all. The monsters we just beat up didn't seem to carry anything, though. Well, well, um... Is it just me, or is this not upon acting really suspicious? Y yes, I get the feeling he may be hiding something. Let's see if we can't get it out of him. For justice! Look me in the eye. These are the eyes of justice. Now, tell me honestly, are you really a traveling merchant? Jijijaru, not do anything suspicious. Are you sure? Can you swear on your own soul? Me, 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 me. If there's something going on here, we need to know about it. Don't worry, no, no matter what the situation, we won't treat you unfairly. I'm here to help. Me, 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 me. All right. Jojo, tell friends everything. So you see. Girl called Hargel Harkal hired Jeruru to come here and collect three types of medicine herb. Harkal? So you do know what these herb and do you know what these herbs are for? Herbs for making special pollen orb make body feel with twice as much energy as usual. And one of those old Napon concoctions? I believe those are contraband in the number of a number of nations, are they not? What? They're illegal? Pollen orbs are known for their addictive nature. Excessive use can be terrible if cause terrible effects to the body. As such, I seem to recall trading in them is entirely forbidden throughout Moradain. Friend's quite right. Hark Hall no not that pollen orb trading forbidden, but sell for high price anyway. I see. Thank you for your honesty, Jeruru. Jeruru overcome with guilt at sight of flame of justice and eyes of friend. Not take on dirty job like this again. Could you tell us where these deals are taking place? Hargal should be there, right? Jeru not know where Hargal is now, but planned is, was to sneak herbs in among other cargo to have sailor at Port Anagham transport them. Port Anagham? Huh? Do you know this sailor's name? Name of Tavurari. Alright then. Tavurari, here, we're coming for you. All right, to the port we go. You're Tavari, right? Jeru told us about you. Oh, Jeru sent you. Perfect timing. I was just running into a bit of a snag. We don't have enough cargo. Could you go and fetch me some more for me? Excuse me. I would never collude, collude in a legal smuggle. Shh, shh, hang on a moment, Godfrey. What is the matter, Nia? I was just about to set this man on the street and there. Look, Godfrey, if we don't. We don't even know if this guy knows about the smuggling yet, do we? He, he could be innocent. What? An innocent man? Drew said the herbs would be hidden in regular cargo, right? Let's play dumb for now and see where he takes them. Ugh, I suppose that does follow a certain logic. You can count on us to pick up the cargo, Mr. Trevari. What exactly do you need us to fetch? Let's see. We're missing two titanic craniums and five ancient chalixes. If you don't have any handy, you should be able to find them by salvaging. But make it quick. Gah, this isn't... This doesn't sit right with me at all. What the hell? Is this guy alright? Shouting out all of a sudden like that? Don't worry, it's nothing. We'll be right back. Oh, what? Oh, wow. I guess we do have them. Alright, that should do nicely. Right in time for me to set sail. Wouldn't want to keep the client waiting. 
Where are you taking this cargo exactly? Genbu Port in Tantal. Do you know the client personally? Ships like mine transport all sorts of different goods for a bunch of clients, so I'm afraid I don't really know much about the people working I'm working for. I see. Where are you handing ding over this cargo then? All I do is unload them at the port. None of my business what happens afterwards. Why'd you wanna, why do you want to know? No, don't worry about it. Well then, I better get going. Thanks for your help. Looks like Harakal is planning to use Tantal as a base to smuggle pollen or herbs out all over the world. Tantal was the only recently opened up to contra contact with the other nations, after all. Trading procedures are not yet well established, so suspicious substance substance could be, would be difficult to trace. Trying to conduct shady business in my homeland, eh? I'll be having none of that. This Hargull girl should be showing up in Genbu Port to collect the goods, so we'll catch her in the act. Ah! I will pass justice on every last villain involved in this crooked affair. So if we wait here, Harkhal ought to show up, right? It is the hope. Let us have faith in our plan. I don't see any girls showing up. You don't think we have been tricked? Hmm, I don't know about that. Maybe she's cautious enough to not show herself unless she absolutely has to. I guess we'd better try asking an informant for more information. To Thessor's Black Market it is, then. The Black Market? That would be a place where villains do business, right? Can I rain sweet justice upon them? You cannot. What are you, an idiot? Listen, Godfrey, it may be called a Black Market, but it's not a, actually that bad of a place. If the Black Market disappeared from Th Thresior, the people would really starve to death. Really? Really, there's plenty of upstanding folks doing business there too. They just don't have an official permission, that's all. A necessary evil for people to live? Gah, the notions pay me so. Alright, I guess we're going to... Uh, Theosaur. We're looking for an Ardanian woman named Harkal. She's been smuggling pollen orm ingredients into Tantal. Do you know anything about her? Sure, I know her. You don't see many Ardanian women around these parts, after all. I believe her cargo was taken over to over near the old Galgemo's gate. Seems like she's making something over there. Pollen orbs, right? Perhaps, perhaps. I'm afraid I do not have any sources on the precise details. I see. Well, thanks for your help. The old Gelgemos Gate, huh? I guess it would be quickest to go via Genbu Drifts. Sounds about right. At any rate, looks like we're fi finally getting close to catching this Harkhal girl. Yeah, not too, not long until we get to see her in person. Let's do this. So we meet at last. You must be Harkhal, and you are new corners or something. We are no such things. I am an ally of justice, come to set you on the path of righteousness. Uh, what are you on about? We have heard of all about you, Harkal. Tell me, why would you stoop to smuggling pollen orbs? <laughs> What's wrong? Why the sudden silence? Why do you avert your eyes? Is there something you are still hiding? Something doesn't seem right here. Hmm. It would appear this girl is using the pollen orbs as ingredients to create something else. What's going on here, Harkal? Why are you not sm- Are you not smuggling pollen orbs after all? Tell us what you are hiding. You are a stubborn one. Very well. I'll pull out all the stops. Justice. 
Hawk Hall, what are you doing in a place like this? You can tell me everything. I know you are not the kind of girl who would resort to crime lightly. Those eyes of yours, they're just like my old dad's. Alright, alright, I'll talk. I was using the pollen orbs to make an even more potent substance, a beverage I call Bala Bala. But for what purpose? Eating pollen orbs is mostly a Napon thing, right? But if I intensify the effect, humans will get hooked on it too. That's a most terrifying idea you have there. What's wrong, Harkal? Go on, you can tell us the rest. No, I've already said too much. Please, just go away. Sorry, but I don't have anything more to say to you people. Oh, be still, my burning heart! Hoggall, why are you mixing yourself up in this shady business? Everyone's worried about you. Your f old friend Kurja? Your own mother? I need the money, that's all. If this place works, plan works out, I'll be able to m make a mountain of cash. A single can of Bala Bala has the power of ten pollen orbs, you know? All sorts of people would pay a high price for such a potent drink. Even without Bana, I won't have to worry about money anymore. Why is money so important to you? Why is money important? Money is everything in this world. Without money, you can't get anything for yourself, least of all happiness. If you, if you met my mother, you should know that. She needs money just to stop her sickness from killing her. And where do you get off anyway? Going on about your preci precious justice? I know smuggling isn't something to be proud of, but what choice do I have? It's the only way I can get the money I need. If, if Do you really believe earning money is in this way will bring you happiness? Will dirty mo money really buy happiness for the people you care about? But of course you can buy happiness. Money is money, dirty or otherwise. And with enough money, you can solve any problem. You. It's been a while, my dear Godfrey. Oh, I get it now. So you're the one who led this poor girl astray. Yes, I showed her a way forward. But leading astray, I don't think so. I only advised her to follow what was in her heart. Money is what she needs to turn her life around. It is her salvation. Money is salvation. That's right, Godfrey. You can't save anyone from your, from with your precious justice alone, because greed is the foundation of humanity. Given the chance, that all humans would sacrifice others to fulfill the greed that lurks in their hearts, to follow one's own desires and do whatever it takes to fulfill them. That is the path of salvation. You've had, I've had enough of your nonsense. That's not salvation, it's madness. Every person has the potential to live up out a proud and just life, even without money. Well, I'd love to stay here and debate all day, but I must dash. There's a big event go about to go down in Thresor. In Theosaur? What are you plotting this time? Oh, nothing much. I just fed a little bala bala to the monsters in the area. With ten times the energy... They were all too eager to go on a rampage. What? You never said anything about that. What's the problem? This is the perfect opportunity to advertise your new product's p potency. Even giant monsters love the taste. Bala Bala, the drink that makes you feel like a king. On sale now. Trust me, it'll do wonders for your bottom line. And isn't that what you wanted? I, I didn't. Just how far do you have to go before you to go before you're satisfied, villain. Having a little trouble keeping our temper in check, are we, Godfrey? But do you have the time to waste here shouting at me? Who knows how many people are getting hurt in Theosaur right now. Curse you. I'll deal with you later. Don't you think you can hide from me? Guess we have a tr trouble in Theosaur. Let's when head back and so help. Late? Oh, and I've started glowing. I'm a bit self-conscious. Damn it! The town is... Are we too late? There's no time to talk! Let's dash!
Hang in there! Thank you. Can you run? Sure. Okay, then run. Run away, fast as you can. No hanging around. If anyone's not out yet, we find them and we get them out. Alrighty, looks like we have a whole bunch of monsters to take down and a whole bunch of people to get out. Let's do it. Gemini! I'm going to be here to die! Gemini! Yeah! Yeah! Boom! Yeah! Yeah! Why not? I sense the great and now we be vigilant! Master Pawn, stand with Poppy! It must have sensed our skill. Gah! Double spinning edge! Breaky, breaky! Let's keep this up and we'll win for sure! I like your Mad. attitude. Just yet, sir. Gotcha. Please so leave it to die. No, no, that the enemy's element is now. It's a great fire in its heart. Man. Oh, Double I spinning edge. Gemini loop. I like your Just attitude. Just give it to you. Pop your gotcha. yeah. Oh. Let so me bash. So I can do it. Break. Go, go for it. Go, 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 go. 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 Situation of spirit. Mm. Splendid. Go on, raise us some more. No, we lost the upper hand. Oh, no, you don't. Double spinning edge! Breaky, breaky! Let's give him the full breaky. treatment! Let's go! We've got to make use of it now! Here we go! Wind! Oh no, you do touch, Master Pond! Much obliged! Tora, cheese, 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 Just in the nick of time. Thank you, my dear. No need for thanks. Just get yourself to a safe location. Are you alright? Yes, thanks, you saved me. Hurry and get out of her. Don't worry, you're safe now. Thank you. Can you run? Uh huh. Then go, fast as you can. I was so scared. You've been a very brave boy, but you can leave the rest to us. Please, save Theosaur. You can count on me, I swear on my fist of justice. Well, this is quite the big fella. Looks like this is the last one. Huh, let's do this, guys. No! We lost the upper hand. Double spinning edge. Gemini, breaky, breaky. Our emotions are ha. in tune, Rex. Yeah. Please so leave it to Dora. Ha! Ah. I sense the is now Gemini. Win. Eagle eye. Short Let's keep so this up and we'll win for sure. Get attention to I like to your energy. attitude.
Impressive, Godfrey. Huh? You have done better than anyone could have hoped. But you get it now, don't you? Just look at all this. All of it come to pass because of that girl. She needed money to save her sick mother. She chose to do it through the thing that she loved most, dancing. What I'm saying is, she did the right thing for the right reasons. But greed was her undoing. Enticed by a way to make even more money, she caused this. The justice you believe in so strongly crumbles so very easily when faced with simple human desires. People can do terrible things in the name of justice. Ah, uh, put a sock in it, will ya? Do you think I'm an idiot? Give me a break. Blaming all of this on the poor girl? Telling me there ain't no justice? You are the deluded one. All of this is your fault, and yours alone. You are just leading people into disaster for your own amusement. <laughs> All I ever did was to give them a gentle nudge. I am done talking with you. It's time to put them up. Gird your loins for a nice big taste of steaming justice. Let's show him a thing or three. Rex, let's go! Boom! My thoughts exactly! I'm all set! So bash! Now I'm fired up! Tora ready as he ever be! Tora! I think I'm ready to strength! Gotcha! spinning edge! Gemini loop, what would you have me do? Master one! Get a catch in the middle! Here we go! Fast! You don't stand a chance no against us, Nick. We'll beat them with the power of friendship. Let's end this. Play combo, third stage. Nice. Awesome. Ugh. All right. Hoppy Cutie Pie, it's time to shine. You get it now? Justice never loses. Well, I guess he can't really hear me. I, I can't believe it. All of this happened because of me. Don't turn away. You need to look at what you've done and accept it. All I wanted was to make my mother well again and give her a good life. How did it end up like this? That villain saw in your feelings an opportunity and took advantage. I wanted my mother to be well again. For the sake of saving her, I thought I could justify anything. But I was wrong. There's no forgiving what I've done. All I can do now is give up my life in repentance. You idiot. You really think dying is going to make anything right? You're stronger than that. If you're really sorry for what you've done, then make up for it by helping people instead of hurting them. Or what do you think? Or what? You think your mother and crew judge would want you to throw your life away? Now, eyes up front. If you really have the will to repent, I'll help you through it all. I. Uh. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. The path of justice is a difficult one. Justice isn't that complicated. It's pretty simple, really. It's just that everyone thinks so hard about it, so they lose sight of what really matters. So, I figured my job is to forge a shining path to help people from losing their way. I'm counting on you to help me with that, partner. 
and the Flames of Justice complete. And that takes care of all but one Blade quest in Uriah. And with that, next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Well, quite simply, we head over to Morodain as that is our next stop for the Blade quests. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like, troops out a ton. Make sure you subscribe to Dibbly Dibbly if you have not already. And I will see you guys all later.